Thank you. Thank you. Oh. The boss not here yet, yeah? No, not yet, but uh, we're talking soon. Right. Yeah. Oh, Hi. Oh, no, what is this meeting about? Oh, just a general discussion, I think. Oh, so we're talking, talking, right? right. right. Only who is writing on the memo was so scribbled, I couldn't make sense of it. Yeah, yeah, we're talking nonsense, yeah? Right. <laughs> okay, let's initiate a personal interface on a feedback basis. Okay. Yeah. Right. Pardon? Let's start the meeting. Oh, right. <laughs> okay, Jules. Deodorant. Oh, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. Project, yeah? See, the manufacturers of spray can deodorants want to improve their image. Oh, yeah, right. Well, as you know, spray cans are damaging the ozone layer. Right? <laughs> so the deodorant companies want to appear more environmentally responsible. Sure, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've come up with this. What is it? Ozone spray. It's just a can of ozone. Okay? Give it a shake. Bypass the armpit completely. Spray it straight back into the atmosphere. <laughs> okay, Julian. Yeah. Fiona, any progress on the new coffee commercials? Well, I think I've got the concept, Tony, okay? Mm. It's the old boy meets girl story, okay? Sounds you? great. Sexy young couple, right? Yeah. She's just moved in next door, goes round to borrow some coffee. He hasn't got any, yeah. okay? <laughs> so, he leaps out of his window into a raging thunderstorm and has to go miles to find them. Don't tell me. Then he comes back and they fall in love, yeah? No, she buggled his flat. <laughs> Nigel. <laughs> okay. What are you working on? Okay. The alcohol-free dog food, yeah? Yeah. Okay. We use Oliver Reed to play with a cute puppy and a bog grill, yeah? What happens? You're not going to believe it. Tell me. They fall in love, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Felicity. Um, the new washing powder. I think we can appeal to slimmers. What's the angle? Low-calorie washing powder. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, right, fine. Well, look, let's move on to our major project, politics, okay? Now, as you know, we've been asked to come up with the perfect political candidate, yeah? Someone who's guaranteed to become prime minister. You see, mention the word politician to people and they get a picture of someone who's arrogant, unpleasant, patronizing. Then they make a prime minister, yeah? <laughs> I think the key to the whole campaign is... Sincerity. Yeah. yeah. Men should find the candidate reassuring. Yeah, and women must see him as cuddly and lovable, right? right. He should be yeah. environmentally sound, appeal to all ages, and be firmly traditional, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I put all of these together, and I've got the answer. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the candidate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're talking strategy, we're talking high profile, we're talking <laughs> marketing, we're talking Ted. Hey, right, we're talking Ted. How's that sound to you, Ted? Okay, don't commit yourself, very shrewd. Um, progress reports. Yes, as you know, we're doing very well in the opinion polls, and Ted has an extremely high recognition factor. Yeah, when asked to identify politicians from a set of photographs, the order was Ted. Thatcher, Kinnock, and what's his name? Who? Oh. You know, the leader of the thingy party. <laughs> Jules, over to you. Right, well, I think Ted should have some practice in handling the media. So I've put together a few typical questions. How's that sound to you, Ted? Just say if there's a problem. <laughs> Ted's happy. Okay, Felicity, tell us what you've got for us. Oh, well, um, it's fab. We've got Ted on Question Time next week. And if that's a very Logan. Mm, I'm not too sure about the TV image, you know, that funny fuzzy hair, those glassy expressionless eyes. Well, never mind about Wogan. That's <laughs> Ted. Well, it's him I'm talking about. He needs to develop his TV interview technique. Hey, that's a good point. Ted, what do you think is the answer to the Middle East conflict? particularly in context of the Arab-Israeli crisis. <laughs> uh, brilliant! That's brilliant, Ted. I mean, where so many politicians would just leap in with some glib, second-hand answer, you prefer to reserve judgment. That's... Oh, give him another one, Julian. Okay, Ted, I put it to you that you're nothing more than a stuffed animal. Hey, and machine washable at that. <laughs> Yeah, well, Ted says, would you mind sticking to the issues and not descending to cheap personal comments? Yeah, well, you still haven't answered the question, have you, Ted? Ted says that's because it's a really stupid question that would only be asked by the kind of moron who steals Fiona's best idea. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Actually, he thinks it's a very intelligent question. Oh, and, you? yes, Fiona's idea is all what? Stupid? Oh, yes, I thought so, too. Hey, 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 come on! Leave the 
candidate alone. Come, look. We're all getting a little overexcited, yeah, and very childish. We'll take a break. Let's do one. Okay. That's Teddy. Which one, sir? The colored one with a big head and button eyes. Hello, Teddy. Bessel Brands, we'd like a word with you. Yeah, it's about your running for number 10. Do you really think that's a good idea? <laughs> See, the establishment isn't too keen on having a prime minister who's 70% acrylic. Please. <laughs> See, Teddy, it's not just the fact that you're 70% acrylic or beige that worries us. No, the fact is that he is a short git. <laughs> yeah. If you did get into Downing Street, you'd be the first Prime Minister in history who couldn't reach the door handler number 10. <laughs> and then there's your statement on the green issue. If you go down to the woods today, you're sure for a bit. <laughs> Not very impressive, is it? To put it bluntly, chummy, we don't want your sort in Whitehall. Yes, why don't you nap off back to Chad Valley? <laughs> Quite easy. you will suddenly retire on health grounds. You know the sort of thing. One of your eyes is loose. <laughs> there he is, hanging off. Oh, the strong, silent routine, is it? Wouldn't be so cocky, sir, if I give him a strip search. Good idea. Strip him, Sergeant. Sir. <laughs> I think he's cracking, sir. We know all about you and the perfume our affair. You and Christine Keeler. <laughs> You and John Profumo, age five. Goodness knows who else is involved. You and the inspector, age five. <laughs> well, you gonna say anything? <laughs> Very well, you leave me no option. Yes. We've got one last photograph. You and your fancy woman. <laughs> No, 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 it was you, Fiona. Oh, no, it was Julia. Oh, come off it. No, I think it was Nigel. All right, yeah, it was me. No, it wasn't me. It was all of us, yeah? Well, they said it couldn't be done, but we managed to get someone elected who has no heart, no soul, and no personality, yeah? We've done it again with Ted. Hey, listen, everybody. I think this is a good time to announce that, well, Fiona and I are going to get engaged. Fantastic. No, 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 yeah. wait, I'm engaged to Nigel. <laughs> what? Well, what's all those things you said? You, you didn't mean them. Of course I didn't. I thought you knew that. Well, I didn't, actually. Oh, never mind. Hold everything. He's disappeared. Ted's gone missing. He apparently stopped to kiss some child in the street, yeah, and she ran off with it. <laughs> well, what are you doing? It's not that bad. It's certainly not worth shooting yourself for. I'm not worried about Ted. It's, it's Fiona. She's going to marry Nigel. No, oh, that is pretty bad. Yeah, there you are. <laughs> There's only one thing left to do. Yeah, yeah, I'm right. No, not that, Julian. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what then, Tony? We need a good prime minister. Um... <laughs> This one. Oh, what do you like on your bike? Uh, very green. Nuclear policy. Oh, we're abolishing all nuclear weapons, but keeping a few in the toy box just in case. Sorry, we'll take them. Chancellor of the Exchequer. Oh, we need a fat one for that. Mm. Uh, him. No, him, Lord. Him. Yeah. What's he know about economics? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Terrific, he'll do. Uh, Foreign Secretary. Oh, how about this one? Never been out of the box. We'll take him. <laughs> yeah. uh, Transport Minister? Oh, we better take a couple of those, just okay. for safety's sake. Okay. Good thinking. <laughs> And there's something more for the weekend next Saturday at 7.35.
secretary. Ah, now this one would make a very good home secretary. Very strong in law and order, through capital punishment, and he's got a zip in his back for his pajamas. <laughs>